I got saved when I was seven. Um, I, I grew up in a, a, a Christian family. My dad's a pastor. And um, I was at a revival service and the gospel was just being presented and I'd heard the gospel all of my life, but this night for some reason everything just clicked. Like all of a sudden, it was really like the Holy Spirit just opened my eyes to what Jesus had done for me and he didn't have to, but that he would actually go to the cross and take my sins. Um, I remember that just hitting me. And then also, I was just struck by the realization of I didn't want to live without him anymore and um, I didn't want to die without him. And so, um, yeah, I gave my, my life to Jesus that night and I was a really, like, like I remember just being bent on everything bad as a kid, like, <laughs> like just genuinely terrible child. My parents would always go in my room and pray over me, like every single night of just like, Lord help this child. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, it, my dad just said that night I gave my life to Jesus. He had never seen someone go just from complete opposite person, just complete, total change, um, even as like a seven year old little girl. So, but I remember feeling different. I remember knowing that Jesus was with me um, and that I was different. I've always been drawn to hands. I think it's because it's the way that we touch people. I have this theory that if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, it could start a chain reaction. Being an actress in the TV and film industry, it's a hard business to be in because it's mostly rejection. You get told no way more times than you ever get told yes. So I remember throughout high school just kind of learning to grow tough skin and like if you really want to stay in the business, um, you know, keep a soft inside but you got to kind of keep a tough outside. I remember one day standing in my dorm room and it was freshman year and I was, I was just like looking in the mirror and um, it was, I, I was up for this really huge part on a TV series um, and it was down to me and this girl and she ended up getting it but and I was just I was just talking to the Lord and I was like Lord why would you tease me like this like why would you call me to something and then just keep dangling it in front of my face and then yanking it away right before I can get it like why would why would you call me this business if you're not gonna let me actually do it and um, I remember looking in the mirror and the Lord just like feeling him say like how quickly would your heart change right now if I actually gave you what you wanted um, like you say you're doing all this for my glory. You say that you're living for my glory, but is that just a mask? Are you really living for yourself? I just remember being in my dorm when that hit me and I just like sat on the ground and started sobbing because I wanted to, I was so, I realized where my heart was at and I wanted the Lord to change it so bad and I didn't want to be like that. Um, and after that moment, I remember him just taking me on a process of just doing work in my heart of like what it actually means to leverage your life for the glory of God, um, not just to be a mask behind what you really want to do. People love to talk about their lives and love to like really get deep about some things, but the, most of the time no one just asks that person like what you're going through or like what you're walking through, what you're struggling with. And when you ask someone like my, you know, my favorite thing is being on a secular set and just being able to like get down to that level with people. Like, how are you doing? Like, you know, what is your life like? And then they just start spilling, you know, like what they're struggling with or like where their heart is or, you know, like what they're hurting through and something. And, and a lot of times people are just looking for someone to listen. And that's the greatest like act of love you can show someone. And so I've had many opportunities on um, sets that aren't Christian sets, where I've gotten to just like sit with people, listen to them, and love on them, and then share Jesus with them. And so, and that's my favorite because, um, you know, they're not expecting it. Just to be the hands and feet of Jesus and to actually show that through your actions speaks volumes to people. Not just going in and, you know, shoving the gospel on them, but first showing them like, hey, I actually care about you. I genuinely do, and, um, and I want to walk with you. The most beautiful thing about being in this industry that the Lord's taught me um, is just, and He's still teaching me, is that just as a child of God, you're, 
you can just you can live steady you know like you don't have to ride the waves and the highs and the lows of what people think about you or what they if they hate you the next day um, because what he says about you is enough and so going in with that confidence of just being a child of God and then just like first of all making sure your relationship with him is the center and the core of everything you do he will use you in ways you have never dreamed before and it, it'll be incredible um, and reaching out where you are and being bold people are people are hungry for someone to listen to them and to walk with them and to just love on them and point them to hope Lord, I'm sorry for everything that I've done. Jesus, I ask you to forgive me. And I ask you to come into my life. Father, use me to be a light to the world.